No, nah, Alex, it's, it's right on time. It's right on time. I mean, to be honest with you, the receiver position in my in my point of view is going to take you at least a year and a half or so, right, before you really start hitting your stride and feeling comfortable. And um, so Alec is just like myself. I didn't become a starter until year three, right? So he's just been, you know, constantly being the ultimate professional, right? He's uh, waiting his turn. Uh, we really got a quarterback that can really – Catered to Alex Strength, and that's the deep ball. And um, if you look at all this film from college in Cincinnati, I mean, that's the stuff that he was doing. So it's right on time. And uh, like, he's, he's uh, to be honest with you, he's been doing this all summer, right? Since the off season, right? Uh, he's had, I've been saying, he's had the best camp, training camp of all the guys. Um, and it's a blessing to see that it, it, it didn't cut off. It's still going. There's the record season goes. How, how rare is it to have somebody who can get deep even when the defense is, I mean, probably after the first week, teams are game planning against it, and he's still getting deep yeah. the last two weeks? Because uh, it's one of those things where, you know, uh, whenever you got a, a quarterback that can throw it as far, like you're in, the, the bank's always open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Um, you know, uh, guys, they, they know that he's, you know, I'm sure they go into every game plan, like you say, just saying, you know, keep him in front, keep him in front. But Alec can run, man. He can run. And I still think in that in that draft class, you know, uh, he was one of the best guys as far as a 50-50 right? There's still some things I think we can, we can use him, you know, to our advantage, you know, but um, – and I'm just a receiver coach, so. <laughs> but no, he's he's uh, he's been a delight. It's been a delight to see him. Rich, how much massaging is there? If, if, if egos, it's been a rough start offensively. <clears throat> quarterback, you got Ted off to slow start. Yeah. All of a sudden, AD saw five or six to seven snaps. Do you, is that something you can you have to address um, individually? I don't. I don't have the patience myself, Mike, to do it individually. I got to do it all at once, <laughs> all right? Um, but you have to do it. I, of course. I mean, everybody wants the ball, right? Everybody wants the opportunity to shine. Everybody wants to be that guy, you know. But, you know, I, I go into it every every week, right, just like uh, – my old offensive coordinator, uh, Tom Moore, used to say, you know, every Monday somebody's going to have a lip poked out, all right? So everybody's not going to be able to be the guy, right? But you just got to, you know, just keep telling the guys, right? Just, the time's coming. When it comes, you just got to be ready. You can't, you can't, you know, uh, throw away that opportunity. But, oh, yeah, man, everybody. I'm, I'm part receiver coach, part counselor, part psychiatrist. I'm. The receiver room is uh, it's already an interesting room just in general, right? And mine is that times two. Do you do with, any of this stuff individually with AD just as a rookie, as a new kid, into this kind of situation? AD, he uh, he'll be all right. Shit, he a rookie. You just, you said it. Rookies got to get in the back of the line, right? And then what they say. So, um, <laughs> but I mean, he's he's definitely. Um, a threat that we have that we hadn't been able to really lock in in yet, you know. But as a group, as an offense, you know, we really start. We, we're really trying to get back to where we was um, just this summer, this training camp. So it's it's kind of a roadblock for everybody. But and, and we see that as a group, you know. But um, AD, his his time will come. But sure, we got to. It's, it's a. It's a chain of hierarchy. <laughs> That's how I look at it. At With least. him getting so much buzz early on, is it almost good for him to kind of like take a seat and, and almost reset for a minute? Well, yeah. yeah I mean, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, games are never like the summer, right? Mm -hmm. um, one thing about the summer is it, it's, it shows you the potential of what you do have, mm -hmm. right? So we know we got him in our back pocket. You know, not saying that we're not trying to use him now. We're trying to use everybody right now. But – um, we know who we have, and, and, and once that line, once that light starts to shine, then I, I feel like we're going to be where we need to be as an offense. You know, so right now the run game is doing well. We need that to keep doing well. And as a receiver, you know, if you can run the ball, then teams are not going to just keep letting you run it all over them. So they're gonna, we're going to have to throw it some kind of way. You say with AD, he's got to get in the back of the line because he's a rookie. Mm -hmm. Well, Pitts in the front of the line. So, yeah. so is it? Do, do you worry about him because he's? He wants to do as much as anybody. Um, and, right, and right now, it's just not there yet for whatever mm -hmm. reason. 
Um, no, I don't worry about Pitt. I, you know, if you'd have asked me that two years ago, then I'd probably say, yeah, right, bro. Right. And it's not because, uh, you know, he's gotten paid and this and that, but like Pitt, he wants to be the guy no matter what. Right. But he also sees what's going on. He also sees that Alec is having a great start, right? Um, he knows time's coming, right? Teams uh, that do focus on Pitt and, and knowing in key situations, third downs and things like that, they know Pitt's probably a high chance of getting the ball, especially before last week, before Josh got back, right? So um, it's all going to work together. Um, he's actually been a great help in the room, just helping other guys, you know, supporting other guys on the sidelines during games, um, just keeping everything, keeping the glue together. So, so he's earned that C on his chest. He's earned it. He's earned it, you know, um, and, and, and it's well-deserved. You know, I've, I've seen a change, right? Um, I've, I, I do believe the C on the chest means a lot. So two years ago, he wouldn't have handled this slow start very well? No. I think he would have been, um, as they would say, bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> and then really the counselor really got his work cut out. Exactly. That's when I really got to earn my paycheck on the other side, right? <laughs> Not the coaching part, but the counseling part. But, but no, he's been doing a great job. And his time will come, right? We just got to make sure, right? There's one thing about the receiver position. Right, it, you can never complain when you get a win, right? So we just we coming off a W, so you just keep it balled up inside, right? And so hopefully we just run off a string of wins so nobody can say anything. But <laughs> the time we do, the time we do lose, then you can you can you can believe that cup will run over. And there's a lot of talk about you guys staying on the field more, getting the completion percentage up. I feel yep. like Pitt can be a pretty key piece to that since he's he's done this with other quarterbacks. A absolutely. And look, if you look at the way our games have been going, I mean, the possession has been lopsided, right? So mm -hmm. uh, we can just start to take over that possession part of it. You know you're going to have more opportunities, more chances, right? You got you have the ball longer, right? Get more first downs to keep a drive going. So we just got to some kind of way tilt the scale on that to give us more chances offensively and then when uh, when that, whenever that comes into play, you know, like, all right, first, second, third down, I got at least three more downs where I can be productive. Mm -hmm.